Hi everyone, Miss here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we have another one of those super white boxes, which means we've got another craft body delivery. And I love my craft body. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's in it. I've uh, popped the tape at the edges so we can see. This one came next day delivery, so delivered within 24 hours of ordering, which is mega fast, which is great. Um, unfortunately, because Hubby's at home all day now, I can't hide any packages from him. So there was a, what have you ordered? Now, how many white boxes do we get in this house? You can never have enough craft buddy white boxes. Okay, so let's get this one open and see what's in it. Okay. It's just a little order this time. There's not a huge amount in it. Honest. <laughs> okay, that's my invoice. You don't need to see that one. So I'll just slip that one out of the way. So we have... Oh, Christmas. Sorry. It's the C word. Christmas alert. But I just love this card and I've been after it for ages. So we'll have a closer look in a bit. But yeah, that one's going in my Christmas stock ready for Christmas cards. Strangely enough, um, on my Facebook uh, memories page came up that I was making Christmas cards this time last year so it's because lockdown had started I think so I thought I'll get a jump on my Christmas cards and um, we've got this beautiful unicorn which uh, yep I've not done that one yet so can you believe there's some that I have actually not done yet we have the beautiful mermaid these are from some of the original kits and uh, I thought these may be um, not renewed once uh, the stock has run out Excuse me, what's the matter? Just a second, always get interruptions from the dog. Come on, can't get down. Say hello to the peeps. Say hello to the peeps. Oops. Are you having a look? You're just having a look in the box, see what there is. Just have a look and see what there is, and then you'll have to go down, okay? Oh, there you are. Okay, what was I saying? After that interruption, yep, Millie just wanted to have a look what was in the box. She couldn't quite see from where she was sat on the bed. So she's decided uh, she wanted to have a closer look. So, yeah, so these are some of the, the pink uh, kits tend to be some of the earlier cards that uh, were brought out. And uh, I am slightly concerned that possibly they won't renew them. I don't know. I don't work for Craft Buddy. Um, so I don't know what they're thinking of uh, is with these. Some of them I have not seen for a while. So I'm collecting the ones that I've not got as I go along. And I do love this one. You can get this picture actually um, in a canvas size as well. Um, so let me just see if I can find it. If uh, there is a box to tick on your catalogues, uh, sorry, there is a box to tick when you do do an online order, um, which allows you to get a catalog which has the current um, inventory, <laughs> current stock available, or uh, some of the current uh, items available. Oh, there's a canvas there, look, as well, of the unicorn. Oh, that would be quite nice to do, and that would be lovely. That one comes in a 30... Oops, you can't see that, can you? So this one comes in a card, um, which is your little greetings card, or it does actually come in a 30 by 30 canvas as well. So that would be another one to add to my wish list. And then I'm sure the mermaid is on a slightly bigger canvas. There she is, look. So yeah, so the mermaid is also a card, but she does come on a full drill 40 by 50 and they are ready framed. So yeah, you can see there, look, you've just got the extra picture. You've got the boat there as well. So she's singing to the sailors. Ooh, you've heard in your background. So yes, yeah, so some of them, I uh, say, do come. But it's worth just ticking the box and getting your catalogue. I do like to keep these and I tick off what I've got. But I hide it from hubby. I don't let him see which ones I've got. Okay, so that's the mermaid card. And then finally, another one, for whatever reason, I've not done this one either, um, is the car. So um, I've got quite a few male birthdays coming up, so I thought that one would be quite good. Um, or even ladies, I mean, it's a very classic car and very sparkly. So, yeah, so I've got that one. And then I love my notebooks. So I have the Owl Notebook. And it's actually got a fairy and I haven't realised until I looked closely. Um, I think I'd seen somebody else had done one on the Facebook group. 
he's got a fairy there and it's a little fairy house i just thought this was the owl house and that was a flower <laughs> my eyesight's brilliant and um, but yeah i know it's a, a little fairy sat there talking to the owl and i love owls so yeah i've got another new notebook and then finally let me just get this box out of the way i have a new product and it was launched was it last week and i finally decided to take the plunge and get it and these are the new little decorations okay so these are crystal art hanging decorations and they're acrylic circles with uh, your diamonds your gems to put on them and resin drills to put on them and then you can hang them um, as decorations or use them as presents or whatever you want to do with them so you get your full instructions okay and um, we get 10 crystal art decorations we get the bags of crystals to complete the designs two crystal pickup pens so we've got a, a good toolkit in this and um, two box of block, blocks of the jelly wax two trays and some um grip seal bags and then you get your string and it comes in gold and silver there's plenty there for hanging up your little decorations but yeah i thought these were just something a little bit different to do nice as little presents oh there's some sparkly drills and gems in there Lots of lovely colours. Look at those. I can see sparkle. Okay, so let's have a closer look at these. Um, I'll just move those out of the way for now. And we'll have a look at these, seeing as I've got them out. And these are new. So, yeah, a lot of twine there. I don't think it says how much we get, does it? So, no, it just says string. Um, but it's actually a nice gold and silver coated like string twine get it quite a lot on um gift tags and ornaments and things so yeah and it's uh, yeah really pretty really good that's a great choice of your gold or your silver depending on your item and um, you normally get about 20 of your little grip seal bags and um, a good chunk of wax and your pens come with your single placer on one end there and I think there are three placer on the other end sorry it's a is it a four placer let me double check and my brain's gone today it's gone completely soft oh it's a three placer yeah it's a three placer so if you're wanting to put more more than one drill on it's also very good as well and um, somebody gave a tip that if you fill this end with your pink wax then they're very good for picking up um coated gems that one's just got pink wax in the end there you can see i've got two grips on this as well <laughs> i'm greedy i've got two on this one um yeah so you can just put your pink wax in the end and it's good for picking up your uh, shaped drills and also for picking up um the coated the a b gems and um, sometimes it, it just makes it that little bit easier rather than picking it up with the single placer okay so that's your little tool kit so it's a good little staff toolkit um, I do like the toolkits I do like getting toolkits I get quite excited particularly if you get anything different in them oh this is different I've not had that before but these are sort of your, your standard ones which is all you need to get yourself going um, and I like the fact that it's got two in so you know we are now starting to lift a bit of lockdown and um, you can maybe have two people working on projects together and these will be really good for grandchildren or friends coming round um, and if you've got lots of spare trays and uh, pens like uh, I have at the moment then uh, you could give one to everybody that you've got in the room nearly pending as long as it's not more than 10 <laughs> and everybody could do their own little gift to take home so let's have a look at these okay so we'll have a look have I got a card that we can just look at this on oh we'll use this envelope that might make it a bit easier so you can see them a bit better okay so we have the lovely butterfly okay and they are double-sided and they're reversed so you put your crystals on one side and then 
put your crystals on the other. Um, doing these, I've found that doing anything like this where it's double sided, I always do all of one side first and then do my other side because I find if I'm doing one side and then flipping over to the other, I can start moving my drills around um, and then having to realign them. So yeah, I tend to like to uh, do all one side first and then turn them over and do the other. But they are a clear acrylic and uh, the outside of the bauble or of the, um, what else could you call it? They look like baubles really, aren't they? Um, hanging ornaments. <laughs> is uh, just clear and uh, there's no sticky on there it is only on the um colored part of this one of this but butterfly that has uh, the sticky on it and that's where you will put your gems and your crystals so yeah they're really good let's have a measure see how big these are looks like we've got lots of lovely designs in these um i'll show you the one that made me plump for them because i'm a sucker for uh, anything like this so they are um just under three inches which is about just a, ooh, seven centimeters that way and uh, yeah they're round that way but with the um little hanger part on the top that makes it nine centimeters long that way but they'd be really good in an aperture card I've got an aperture card anywhere haven't they okay so i've got an oval and like a, a window shape there and i think you can see that if you just hang one of those put your string through here you can fasten it and just hang it and then when the card is open it will be able to just hang there and then it's a present for somebody afterwards so you can make a card into a present which is a nice idea so that's your like window shaped one and then your over one obviously you can have a round but to be fair um i think the hanger on the top uh, i think you do need a bigger shape and i think it will hang better and swing better in something that's a little bit longer like that so yeah so that's a fantastic idea okay you can turn them off so i come from a card making background so everything to me is always make it into a card but i do try and look at other crafts as well um i think these would make quite a nice mobile as well put two or three of them um, dangling on a mobile and just have them hanging in the wind. Maybe put an odd bell just to drive your neighbours nuts. <laughs> if you've got your windows open. We've got a big wind chime in our back garden um, and we have to tie it up when it's windy because it is really loud. It's like a bamboo one. Um, and we've seen the neighbours giving us a few funny looks over it. So yeah, we tend to uh, tie it up when it's really windy. <laughs> particularly on a night and you know clack 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 anyway sorry so yeah back to what we were doing so we've got a butterfly there okay pop that pop those on the card there so you can see them as i'm going through them drills out the way we've got a nice flowery mandala there i mean that would go with the butterfly it's got the blue colors in to match with it if you're wanting to hang two or three together but that's really pretty really pretty design it's just uh, show you on there and then again double sided and then we have some sort of bird it's a blue bird would it be maybe a blue jay um i don't think we have any birds in this country that are that color i mean you could change the color the drills will more or less color uh, uh cover the color underneath um but that's quite pretty i mean it doesn't matter it can just be a generic bird so that one would be quite nice with you there you are, look, your wind chimes, you've got your colour stories going on there, they would look nice together. And then, uh, oh, there's another bird there, look, as well. That one's got blue on it as well. Now, that one looks like, well, I don't know, it looks like a robin with a yellow breast and a blue head. Um, but again, you know, the pretty colours, it doesn't matter, they don't have to be um, specifically um, to a, an exact bird, do they? But you can see there, look how clear the drill field are, uh, even on the little legs and uh, the little tail there and everything so yeah so that one's got yellow on it i don't know whether i don't think i'd put that one on though because that's quite a big bird compared to that one um so possibly then i would put the daffodil with it yeah you see that makes that pop so that's a good color family family so that should have to that would be nice easter card or a spring card for somebody um or just uh, as i say just as a nice decoration just to hang in the window i think this one might end up with my uh, 
Easter scene that I've got with my hens on if you see my unboxings um, and my Easter bunny wreath that would be quite nice to hang on my mantelpiece with those nice spring flower okay that's that one and then we've got the crocus as well which is really pretty um, I don't know about you, but crocuses don't last very long in our garden for whatever reason, particularly the yellow ones. The birds just come and take the heads off them as soon as we get them. So I'll just let you have a close look. Sorry, it's a bit glary, isn't it, on there? Um, I will have to invest in some lighting, but uh, we'll see how we go. Um, so, yeah, so that's uh, really, really pretty. So that's like a purpley colour, that one. Okay, let's put that on there just put the token out of the way now this one is like your valentine the key to my heart oops key to my heart look at that there's definitely been uh, an arrow through the heart from cupid on that one so yeah great anniversary uh, little gifts and they're very good actually um a friend of mine got me onto it when you do a gift bag for somebody when you've wrapped a present um just put a little like well a keepsake on the bag um, and it's something we've started doing now we do it at Christmas uh, I tend to get uh, things with people's names on and there's plenty of room here if you wanted to add a name onto any of these you could put uh, I could put hubby and Liz on this one <laughs> tell him look I've been struck by Cupid's arrow I think he'd look at me so I'd gone daft but then that would be nothing new to be fair uh, so yes yeah, so there's that one but yeah, you know, you, they're uh, nice to hang from a gift bag. Um, and then it's a keepsake again, like with your cards to take off and keep. Okay. And then, oh, look, we have a little teddy bear. He's a sweetie. Look at that one. He's always special drill. Sorry, I'm trying not to get the glare from the window on this. And he's got his little bow tie on. So he's cute. So that would be nice for, say, a new baby or a baby shower just to hang on the bag. And again, it's something, you know, you could hang above baby's cot, um, not to let baby get it, obviously, uh, and make sure you seal it if you do so. None of the uh, gems can come off if little hands grab it. But if you keep it out of the way, you could just hang above a cot. And then this one was sort of like my nearly favourite, which is this wonderful little owl. Look at that. He's superb. Again, double sided. And uh, yeah, really good. The detail on that is lovely. Can't wait to get these done. But this is what swung it for me. Look at the bunny. He's a little bit similar to the bunny that's on the Easter wreath. And I just thought, oh, I've got to have these. That bunny is just so cute. So yeah, so the bunny uh, and the flowers. I think I'm going to use for Easter now, whether I do them as uh, a, a hanging ornament singly or do them as like a, a mobile, all three of them together. I'm not sure. You'll have to wait till next Easter and see what I do when I put all my Easter decorations <laughs> out, see if you're still with me by then. Okay, so yeah. So which are your favourites? I just love them all. I just can't wait to get on and do them. So... Yeah, we've got uh, 10 lovely little, put that bed over there, so that's me. Yeah, we've got 10 lovely little um, hanging ornaments there, which they're really good. I'm really impressed with these and they're a really nice quality, good solid quality. I don't know whether I can measure how wide they are. Um, let me see if I put that on. Oh, Liz, frame. <laughs> um, so it's about two tenths of an inch, which is roughly, what have we got? One, two, three, about three millimetres. So, you know, they're, they're a good sturdy, you know, they're not bending, let's put it that way. Yeah, they're... Uh, a good quality so i love those so i'll get those put away and then i'll show you what shall we look at what shall we look at next i think we'll have a look at the notebook next 
which is my owl, so I'll just get all of it, put my instructions in as well. Those put away, put my cards back, ready to use. I will show you, um, if you pop onto either my Instagram or my Facebook page, you'll be able to see um, anything that I've made with these and what I've been doing. I do like to have a play about with things and find different uses for things rather than just what they're actually meant to be. Um, I am very much a let's experiment and let's have a play. Okay, so let's have a look at the notebook next. So this is the owl. And again, it's been on my wish list for a while. So as uh, I get orders put in, I do like to then add uh, bits and pieces that I have been wanting for a while. So come in your lovely box again. Um, this is uh, Lisa Parker. So I presume that's the designer of this. So yeah, craft buddy are all licensed artwork. Um, you won't find any stolen artwork. Even the Disney is licensed on their website. Um, we have Thomas Kincaid and uh, Anne Stokes as well um, on craft buddy. So they're really good. Okay, uh, the 26 centimetres by 18 centimetres, partial crystal and the for age 8 plus. But again, um, that's sort of up to you. My six-year-old granddaughter does uh, do, uh, with supervision, does do uh, the craft body kits with me quite a lot. Okay, so that's your lovely gift box. Uh, you can either make this up for somebody or you can give them it as a gift to do their self. Uh, maybe somebody's into crafting. I'm trying to get the whole family into crafting at the moment. Um, right, yeah, uh, my uh, niece-in-law, um, I did send her some Disney kits. Uh, I sent my nephew, nephew some as well, but he hasn't sent his homework in yet. Um, but my niece-in-law has done a card, so I'll put a picture down below of that. Uh, of what she been up to, so I'm determined to get the whole family hooked on diamond painting. Okay, mindfulness. That's what they all need. Chill out and mindfulness. So, oh, great. So, yeah, we've got our little uh, key code here. So, as you can see there, you've got your DMC numbers and your number of gems. And uh, your key is telling you which coloured gem to put on which uh, letter on your canvas. Um, and that's the picture of the owl. And then it shows you what part of the picture actually has your rhinestones on it, has your um, crystals and your rhinestones on. So yeah, so it's really, really good. Okay, so they're really handy. I say I like to keep those in my uh, little log book for when I'm doing my diamond painting. So we'll be doing a kitting up on this. Maybe, maybe not. I don't tend to kit up the smaller projects. Um, I made it with this, we'll see. So we've got our little standard toolkit again with your three placer, your single placer, your little green boat, a piece of wax, and there's normally about 20 baggies, 20 of your grip seal bags in there. So yeah, I will open that and show you. Otherwise this video is gonna go on forever. So yeah, your notebooks, um, I've opened quite a few and they are superb. We've got your lined page, I think it's 50 lined pages. Your satin ribbon that you can use as your bookmark there and all the bottom and top of the pages have got little one centimeter increments on them so you can draw straight lines up and make yourself boxes um, on here for whatever you're wanting to do but they're all hardback really really good quality i love these notebooks uh, as you can probably tell that's why i've just got so many of them and uh, yep yeah, so where your drills go is sticky and where they don't go isn't sticky so that's your owl there and i try not to get the glare let's take that off is that better oh that's better look you can see that better lovely clear drill field there you can see and that little fairy is just so cute and the owl really is studying her looking at her while she's talking that's wonderful i just love that picture uh, great so yeah i couldn't resist this one we've got little fairy steps going up here as well look looks like she's got steps coming up to where she needs to go and then all your leaves down in this bottom corner so let's have a look yep we're well, a mixture of these of resin drills and uh, crystal uh, gems 
Um, we've got a good mixture in here. Okay, so we've got all your green, so it looks like all your leaves are going to be your rhinestones, which will make this pop. It's a lovely night scene. It's great. We've got, uh, oh, they're an AB white, so they're a coated white, so that's going to make it shine just a little bit extra there. Um, just gives that a little extra sparkle, like an oil on water effect. Got cream, browns, and fawns. Look there, all your owl colours and your tree colours as well, of course. Okay, and then some grey for highlights. I should think that'll all be owl's tummy and his leaves down here. So yeah, so oh, that's superb. How are we getting on doing that one? I tend to do these little projects. I'm just going to put those inside the book so that they keep nice and flat. Um, I tend to do these if I've been doing a canvas or a longer project that's taken me a bit longer to do. I'll just maybe get one of these out and they'll just take me a night to do. But there's no rush. It's not a race. You can take as long or as short as you want. If you just want to pick it up and do five minutes, put it away. Pick it up, do another five minutes. Doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's your project. It's entirely up to you how you do that. Okay, so let's have a quick look at these cards. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. So first off, we'll have a look at the card. Let's say these are all 18 by 18 centimetres, which is seven inches by seven inches. They're all a really good quality card. Um, the stand up past the waft test that's not going anywhere even though it's on a slope and they're all partial so the background isn't diamond painted but in this case the car is apart from uh, the wheels there and the silver parts the chrome parts of the car get the terminology right and um, so yeah so we've got that there Um nice quality there's no guide circles on this uh, no, I can't see any guide circles. So that's uh, really good. You're not going to see any of those through. And it looks like we've got some specials on this as well for the headlights and for the wing mirror there. So just have a quick look at the drills. And, uh, we'll maybe not look at the drills on the others. We'll see. Oops, because I can never open the buckets. You've got your standard tool kit in with it as well and your nice envelope. Uh, they're a good envelope, they're not a one that's going to be see-through um, anyway, it's just a good quality envelope okay. Actually, I'll take the tool kit out pop that in there, I, I should have my stickers really to put my sticker on so I'll know which side of the uh, paper that goes right, okay, so oh, that's your headlight ones, look look at those ooh, sparkle on that, wow very shiny okay and then it is a mixture of oh you've just got silver oh it looks like so the car is set four different shades of red and black there and then it is all outlined in your clear crystals your silver crystals so yeah i like that one so good generic card that one so i've got quite a few unboxings and completion reviews on cards if you do want to have a look at them. Keep that in there so I know where that is. Keep it all together. Okay, Mermaid. Now, as I say, I've wanted this one for a while. It does seem to go out of stock quite quickly. Oops. Just get that open. Okay. And again, your basic tool kit there. Just to get you going with all your baggies. And ooh, lots of different drills on this one. So it's a lovely scene. The background again is not diamond painted, but your mermaid um, has got flowers in her hair, which I've just spotted. And then it's all her clothes, her tail, um, and some waves are all highlighted there with uh, crystal gems. Uh, yeah, uh, with these as well, um, if you are new to these, there is a code number on the back of the code and that does relate to the uh, code number on the packet there. Um, the older kits don't have um, the number on all of the uh, drill packets, so be careful with these. The newer kits 
um, do have the number on all of the packets but uh, this is one of the older kits one of the original kits that they brought out so it doesn't on these so you do need to keep your drills with your kit albeit i'm sure if you did look at them you can more or less see what colors belong to what okay so so there are y'all oh look at those wow they're for your mermaid's hair look those little flowers they're really thick as well i don't know if you can see the thickness of those really lovely okay i like this they look like icing sugar they look like icing sugar flowers that you would put on them um, cupcakes and things but don't try eating these they're not edible <laughs> Okay, so we've got lots of blues. Oh, look at that aqua blue there. That's pretty. I like that one. And then your, your silver uh, crystals for your waves. Okay, so that's mermaid. I love that one. I love them all. I'm terrible. Really love them all. I think I've just about done all of the cards. And they have been a lot. And they do keep bringing out new ones. And it is terrible because I love them all and I want them all. But hey ho. It's my hobby. Ask um, a fisherman or a golfer or uh, somebody who plays sport how much they spend on their hobbies. And uh, I reckon it's probably comparable to having a hobby like diamond painting. Depending on where you get your kits from, of course. <laughs> okay, you've got your little standard starter toolkit there. And then this is our unicorn. And um, isn't she pretty? Isn't that gorgeous? Got uh, a spiral horn there. And uh, yeah, so all of the body of your unicorn is diamond painted. And then the mane and everything isn't. What I will possibly do with this is put some glitter glue or um, use your glue and just put some glitter highlights into that. That would look really, really pretty. But yeah, the eye is not um, diamond painted, so that, that just pops and stands out that little bit more. And then these drills. Oops. I think these are all resin drills. Oh no, there's an, I can see an AB pack popping out at me. Now this is one of the newer kits um, with the like burgundy packaging. Um, and this one does have the code on the back of the card so you can see there look on the packet you've got an A2 and on the card you've got an A2 so they match up together okay so you have black and grey and oops some browns Ooh, they must be oh, around the muzzle of the uh, unicorn there and then that's your AB coated white, which will just put some extra sparkle and highlights into your unicorn. So, very nice. Okay. Make lovely little pictures, these as well. Um, so, if you've got a little girl's bedroom, you could put this into a little uh, frame, um, possibly an 8 inch by 8 inch frame, so that you have a board around it and it'll just make it pop that little bit. But yeah, so that's the unicorn. And then if you don't want to see anything with the C word Christmas, then <laughs> fast forward to the end. But I'm just going to have a quick look at this. I've been after this one for ages. I missed it last Christmas. So I've got it early this Christmas. Gosh, can you believe we're talking about Christmas already? It is May though. So yeah, this is uh, some of the um, original... Christmas kits. I think these were not last Christmas, Christmas before, but I have got, I don't think I've got the gingerbread men, but I think I've got all the others. <laughs> and this is your llama. And look at that. It's superb. It's got a cactus look with all gems hanging from it. Um, and it's blanket and it's little Santa hat on there. Brilliant. Just love that picture so much. Sorry, there's a lot of glare there, isn't there? So lighting's not brilliant today let me try the light on see if that makes any difference no nope, that makes it worse oh dear we're gonna have to find somewhere else to film i think 
Okay, so that's your line. So let's have a look at these gems and jewels. Look at all the different ones in these. Now, again, this one is one of the older kits, so it doesn't have, um, it has the number on the packet on the outside of the packet, but not on the drill packets. So you will need to keep uh, your drill and gems together. Okay, and there's a lot in this one. Okay. Right, so look at your specials. Oh, we've got a really big yellow one there, goldy colour yellow. And then we've got some A, B. So they're like pointed actually, they're not exactly faceted, they're like pointed, like yellowy, lemony colours. We've got uh, a pink, large pink faceted gem. Large, two large like aqua colour faceted gems. Some bit smaller faceted hot pink, hot pink. And then some AB coated bluey green faceted gems. And let's look at these. We've got a grey, a red, like a fawny colour, another red, another grey, another fawn, a green, like a very dark grey, dark green. Uh, is that maybe? No, that's just a plain white, although it has got a brilliant sparkle on it. And then you've got a hot pink, hot pink, hot pink gem, a gold gem and a blue gem. So there's an awful lot of colours on this. Oh, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen of your drills, normal drill size. And one, two, three, four, five and six specials. So that's like 19 packs of drills on this little tiny card, which is wonderful. I'm really going to sparkle. I'm going to have trouble giving this one away, I can tell. But I am, I am going to have to start um, sending some of these cards out, otherwise I'm just going to run out of room. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so... That's uh, everything opened and looked at. That was a lovely little haul. Quite exciting, just a various, various different uh, items. So I've got a notebook, four cards, and then our lovely little candy ornaments. Okay, well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed looking at these. Um, at the moment, I do have a um, 15% uh, code, which is Liz. 15 LIZ15. I'll put the link down below so you can see that and you will get 15% off if you do want to buy any of these from Craft Buddy or anything else on their website. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please press that like button down here. Uh, it just bumps me up in, fa in Facebook. It just bumps me up a little bit um, on YouTube. And if you want to subscribe and see more, then there's a subscribe button down here. But that's everything for now. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.